Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to have a look at the Fennec. This is actually my most requested weapon to do, so I thought I'd better get it done before the season ended. Great little gun, I recently got buffed, so I've got all the stats, I've got some fittings for you. I even done an akimbo fitting and uh, look at the stats of that as well, just so you can decide if you want to give it a try. Battle Royale fitting, as always. Let's get started, have a look at the base stats and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so our highest and lowest damage per shot and round to kill are there. Obviously, it's meant to be a short range gun, although fitted, it can actually do quite well. Good ADS speed, raise and lower time, standard penetration, although the FMJ really does help. Sprint to ADS, okay. Sprint to hip fire is where it's a bit nasty for the Fennec. Really does obviously hurt with the Akimbo. Let's have a look at the hit boxes. The lower torso, which is our base here, and we have the head and the upper torso. Now they do show us two hit boxes, but they do the same damage. So we've just called it the one hit box at 1.09 times. The arms and the legs in total are 0.87 times for the hitboxes. All good. On to the ammo statistics here. So we've got our normal one take one shot, hit a reload of 1.6 seconds. Got a good cancel reload at 1.03. And if you're empty, it's 187. You do notice it, you will notice it more with a Kimbo. Base magazine size 30 rounds. Super rounds per second of 18.8, 1,125 rounds per minute. This thing goes brrr. Milliseconds between the shots, 53 milliseconds. Let's have a look at the accuracy. Most of the recoil is vertical until about 16 rounds in. Then it does head off to the left, quite harsh, but it's not terrible. Most things you aim at, even at range really, are going to be dead within 16 rounds, so you're not going to hit that horizontal. It is difficult at range, but we do do some work to fix it. The hip fire is really tight up to 5 meters, but really taking people out at 10 meters is actually very realistic. As for the iron sight, it's clean, it does the job, it's not too distracting, no real problems there at all. Fennec movement speeds are up next, ADS movement, nice and swift, 4.13 meters per second. Obviously you could chuck Skulker in if you want, up to you. The walking speed, 5.15 meters per second. Great sprint speed, 6.71 meters per second, with lightweight, 7.38 meters per second. You can really zoom around the map with this weapon. But let's have a look at the Fennec base for time to kills. We'll start off with that head and upper torso area. So up to 16 meters, four round kill. Sounds scary, but look at that, 160 milliseconds. We then have another step of six rounds to kill, 267 milliseconds up to 21 meters. But we then get into an eight rounds to kill. Now eight rounds sounds definitely scary, but it's only 373 milliseconds. And really that is for the rest of the range, even though the damage does change. For that lower torso area, we start off with a five round to kill at 213 milliseconds. Everything else above 16 is the same. The legs and the arms, still five round kill up to the 16. For it, it's a seven at 320 milliseconds, and then a 10 round kill for the rest of the range at 480 milliseconds. We're gonna fix this with the fitting, but that closer range is where you wanna be going, and pretty much you can hit anywhere you like. Okay, so multiplayer fitting for you, pretty standard. It's out there a lot now, nothing different, couldn't really improve upon it, but here it is. Monolithic suppressor, push out the range, silenced, great, super stuff. MIP extended bow, again, pushing out the range. We want that, that initial damage area out as far as we can. OWC laser tactical, bit more accuracy and the ABS time. Operator foregrip for that vertical recall for that initial 16 odd shots. Makes a big difference, very well worth doing. And of course the extended mag. You've got to have the extended mag with the Fennec. So we'll have a look at how that fitting actually changes our stats. We're getting extra rounds. We're now up to 40 rounds now. Range has been increased by 35%. That's very important. Really, most of the rest of the stats are very minor changes to the reload and the movement speeds, as you can see. The ADS speed has been increased by 33 milliseconds, but it really is barely noticeable. Okay, so let's see what that fitting's done to the time to kills. The head, upper torso, and the legs, 
All the numbers are basically the same except for the range. We've gone from that 16 meter range now to a 22 meter range. And that's for our four and five shots, 160 milliseconds or 213. You can hit anywhere. It's great. Even 25 meters is not bad if you can hit that torso and upper area. All really, really nice. Onto the accuracy of that now. Basically, the vertical recoil has been helped quite a lot. Obviously, that operator foregrip really does help. The longer range kills at that 20 odd meters, easy enough to get now. Hip fire, other than the recoil, it is basically unchanged. No video would be complete without an akimbo fitting, so here's one for you to play with. MIP light. Let's get that hip fire bullet spread as good as we can to push out the range. It helps, believe it or not, it really does help. The extended light barrel, push out the damage range a little bit. The recoil, everything else doesn't really help there. It's the range. Obviously, we need the perk, akimbo. The laser, I've gone for the one that improves the sprint to fire delay. Really does help out a bit for the cost of 1% hit fire bullet spread. Yay, way to go. And of course, the extended mag. Every Fennec build kind of needs the extended mag. Okay, so how does that fitting change the stats? Well, our rounds, it's 40 per weapon or 80 rounds in total. Range has been increased by 10%. The sprint to hit fire has been improved by 50 milliseconds, so we're now 150 milliseconds. Reload speeds increased drastically. An empty reload now is 2.68 seconds. Part reload, 2.42. A cancel reload, you don't get a lot of bonus for it, 2.28. You're not going to notice it, that's to be expected. Walking speed is down to 4.81 meters per second. The sprint speed 6.27 or 6.89 with lightweight. We do have different hit boxes with the akimbo fitting now. It's just the head, the whole torso and the arms and legs. The head comes in at 1.08 and those arms and legs at 0.83 times the damage. Okay, so the akimbo time to kill stats. Really up to eight meters for the headshots, four round kill. For the torso area, 213 milliseconds, five round kill. For the arms and the legs, it's the same there. You can push out to that 19 meters. That's your ideal area there. After that, it starts getting dicey on the accuracy as well as the time to kills. It is very unrealistic after 20 meters. So for the recoil, there is obviously still a recoil element, but you're never really going to notice it. Hip fire is very tight up close as expected, and you can push out to that 20 meters as I mentioned. For the iron sight, I'm gonna call it the iron sight. With the fitting, you get the lasers that point out. As you can see on a little video here, the left one, it's, it's off center. This can be very off putting and you will have to deal with that. Okay, for my BR build, I've gone more hip fire and strafe speed really trying to help us out here it works exceptionally well and quite accurate up to about 20 meters very very nice indeed we've got the light flash guard for that hit fire bullet spread and we do get ads bullet spread for when we do want to ads very helpful extended light barrel the bullet spread and the damage range helps in hit fire and ads situations i've gone for the light stock i know i'm knocking out some of the bullet spread the recoil doesn't hurt really much at all but that ADS movement speed really helps when you're strafing around an enemy. For the laser, I've gone for the straight up full on hip fire bullet spread, 18%, nice. And of course, the extended mag, why not? So let's have a look at the damage there. Okay, bullet velocity, 350 meters per second. Not a big deal, you're not trying to cross map people with this thing. Up close, we're looking 20 meters. I found that I could hit at 20 meters really well and it killed very, very quickly. The red looks bad, that's just the amount of rounds, but the time to kills, really, really good. Not bad at all. Okay, pros and cons. Pros, kills really fast. It is good at range, better than say the MX-9 and the Akimbo adds a fun factor. For the cons, that recoil can hurt at range if we don't fix it. A lot of people are using the weapon, nerf could be incoming. Akimbo was nerfed, but it is very good on small maps like Shipman. Well, there you go, guys. That should be everything you need to know. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or you can join our Discord. Link is either on the screen or in the description. Don't forget to hit like, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. New videos every week. Thank you for your time in watching. 
See you next time.